Now I'm going to demonstrate how to do vertical leg crunches. All right. Lay down. You can put a mat down if you need a mat for comfort. You're going to lay back on your back, and your legs are going to be vertical on the ground. All right. Take your fingers, point them straight up, and you're going to crunch and reach for your toes. All the way down, crunch and reach for your toes. All right, so you're focusing on crunching your core muscles and having a goal to try to reach those toes with your legs straight up. Notice when I'm going up, my voice changes because I'm really contracting my abs. All right, and then slowly lower your legs. Another way you can do a vertical leg crunch, which is a little bit less advanced, is you can have your hands behind your, behind your head and put in one leg at a time and just touch your ankle or your toe. Okay, So bring your leg vertical, touch your ankle, you're still contracting your abs, and stretch all the way back. So some points to remember when you're doing vertical leg crunches is the more advanced way is to keep your legs straight up in the air and really, really focus on contracting your abs. Take your fingers and try to reach for those toes. It's kind of a goal. So every time you reach your toes, you can count it as one. Or reach your ankles, you can count it as one. And if you don't, then you, you don't have to, then it wouldn't count. So it would be, you know, ideal if you're working out by yourself, you know, you could it'd be like your own little personal trainer. And then when you're doing another, the easier way of doing um, vertical leg crunches is one leg at a time. And again, you'd be just reaching for one leg, all right, and it would be just a little bit easier for you. So those are some different exercises that you can do for vertical leg crunches.